Today we're opening never before seen Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we got another package from oricashop.com. So we're gonna be opening those up in this video. Also giving away all the sleeves and all the cards that they sent me. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about Oricas in general or their specific ones that I show you in this video. You also, looks like you can get a sleeve of your choice for free if you go check out their link. Just add one pack of your choice of the card, reach a minimum order of 30 euro, and then enter the sleeve. So if you spend like 30 bucks, I guess, or 30 euro, which is about the same at this point, then you send her the thing and you get free sleeves. So keep that in mind. Uh, pretty cool. I also have grand creators packs to open up while we go through them. So we're opening some packs and opening the Oricas. I think it'll be pretty fun. Hopefully we can get some collector rares. First of all, they sent us some sleeves. Here's some of the sleeves you can probably grab. Is this a DPE? Is that what this is? Okay, that's pretty sick. Speaking of DP, we have not pulled them yet. That's what I don't know what it looks like because I've never seen the card because I can't pull it. Then we have some really cool anime style looking ones, but they're like blue on the back, which I really like these. I think these are my favorites of the three. And then there are some Cyber Dragon. I don't know which Cyber Dragon this is specifically, but definitely a Cyber Dragon guard. And keep in mind, those are in the giveaway. All right, first we have this. I Is this... Ecclesia, maybe? I don't know what card that is. Okay, pretty cool. Let's open up a pack as we go through this, but we haven't opened a pack yet, so let's go ahead and open one. Some of the, It's a field center, so that's pretty cool. Field centers are pretty popular for, uh, you know, if you're currently playing the game. Ladybug, we got the uh, XCs at Universe. If you don't know what a field center is, basically, if you play with a mat uh, like this, it doesn't have, like, an area to, like, you know, do the link zones. You just basically put that in the middle, and then you can put your link zones on each side. That's what a field center is. Some people just use, like, regular old cards for it, but... Yeah, if, FYI, if you're old school like me and you don't know what a field center is, that's it. Next, we have a Dark Magician field center. Ooh, that looks pretty sick. That looks like an eyeball. I know it's like a, a blast of magic, but it looks like a big eyeball. He's like, ah, oh, take this eyeball, chucks it at him. I don't know what this is. Dra oh, Dragon Maid, no, that's pretty obvious. So we got a Dragon Maid field center. I'm sure a lot of you guys like that one. We've got the Eldlich, very beautiful. Too bad it's Eldlich and nobody likes that deck. I'm just kidding, a lot of people like that deck, but uh, it was hated for a little bit. Light Sworn, very cool. All right, we've got ourselves a Light Sworn card. We've got the Minerva, super rare prize card. Pretty sick, if I do say so myself. Let's go back to Grand Creators, see what we can pull. All right, will we get something good? Grand Creators, we have Exosister Irene. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh wait, never mind. A Ruxin Special of the Super. I was like, oh, we got something. No, never mind. We already passed it. Never mind, we don't have anything. Then we have some Live Twin at Field Centers. Very nice. We've got ourselves a... Necroz. Oh, I haven't seen a Necroz in a while. So there's Necroz. Let's just do it like this. We got Shadal. We've got Sky Striker. Pretty cool. We've got ourselves a Trap Tricks. Uh, Tri Brigade. We've got Tri Brigade again. Ooh, Egyptian God cards with a Slifer. Beautiful. We've got a Sky Striker. All right, let, let's open a pack now. Let's do a, li a little bit at a time. I don't, I don't want to show you guys everything at once. Yeah, plus, there's uh, actually some anime cards in here as well. So there's, there's Field Spells or Field Centers. There's anime cards. Wandering Griffin Rider. Great for the Brave Engine, of course. Very nice. Yeah, I, I, want, I don't want to do all of them at once. Let's do a little bit of back and forth. You know what I'm saying? We got the Insector Peak of Felina, which got reprinted in an OTS for some reason. I don't know why. Ooh, the Drytron. Okay, everybody hates those. Phantom Knight. <laughs> Feels like most archetypes are either loved or hated. There's not really a middle ground. Zodiac, we've got, because they've been either really good or just garbage. And if they're garbage, people love them. If they're great, people hate them. Virtual World, we've got ourselves at, oh, another Virtual World. Okay, we've got the Cyber Dragon. There's the sleeves, basically. And we've got a Zop. That does not look... Is it just me? Is this a zombie? This is not a zombie. Like, I don't know what card this is, but there's nothing zombie-like about this. <laughs> what is going on here? All right, that was uh, an interesting zombie there. Waifu zombie, okay? Yeah, yeah, who's into zombies? <laughs> okay, virtual world. Breath of Resurrection, very nice. So far, nothing out of these uh, Grand Creators packs. They've all been uh, duds, to say the least. Let's see if we can actually get something. Goki Pile, Exo Sister Ellis. I think Exo Sisters are kind of getting popular now, so maybe some of these Exo Sister Super Rares are actually worth something. I don't really know. Let me know in the comments if I, uh, you know, miss something. Emergency Teleport. Junk Punk, or not Junk Punk. <laughs> I, where did I read Junk? I don't know. Uh, Jorori. Uh, I don't still think that's right, but Junk Punk, very nice. I like the Junk Punk. That's pretty cool. Here's the rest of these field spells or field centers. Dragon Maid. We got Shadal. We've got the Despia with the uh, Luber. Very cool. We've got Sword Soul. Very nice. Sword Soul's pretty classic. The, not classic. They're very new, but pretty clutch. Fairy. We've got the Adventurer. Nice. Hopefully we can pull some Adventurers while we're doing that. Remodule Token. That's actually pretty sick. Ooh, the full art water enchanter. So we're getting into the full art stuff. Let's see. But wait, 
Did you know that Megaton 2022 pre-sales are out? Use my code MightyRuxin30 if you want to get $30 off with Sassy Auto's link. It also supports me as well. If you haven't heard about the reprints in these tins, they're reprinting Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes with new artwork. And they're also reprinting a bunch of new cards like Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Forbidden Droplet, Nibiru, Ash, Ghost Ogre, and many more. So make sure you guys use code MightyRuxin if you guys want to save $30 on your pre-order tin and it supports the channel. So let's get back to the video. Okay, so water enchanters that's cool oh i messed it up adventurer token okay there's no adventurer tokens right now so this is good uh, another adventurer token we've got a primal being token that looks pretty let's look at it does this not look like something straight out of naruto that's what this looks like oh wow that looks sick that looks beautiful the shine on the name is really really nice adventurer token and then a sword soul token very very cool okay wait oh wait i said there's no adventurer token i meant to say sword soul token there might be an adventurer token but i could be wrong all right we got some more to go so we're gonna open a couple more packs we have the dunnell we've got the xc's universe oh we got a damage card right there and that torrential that thing is destroyed okay unfortunately let's do the anime cards next because the other one looks like it might oh we got something Exosister Michaelis. I actually think this is a decent card because of Exosister stuff. So we'll take that pull any day of the week. Ultra rare. Exosister Michaelis. Michaelis. Very nice. Anime cards. We got the Flame Wing Man at the front. Let's see what else we can get. We Oh, it's Jaden deck. A little bit of a spoiler there. So Jaden Yuki's deck. Let's see what he has. We got the Elemental Hero Flame Wing Man. We've got the Shining Flip. Dude, these are beautiful. Anime with Hollow Avian. So I'm going to try and shake him around a little bit so you guys can see that. Yeah, shake him around. The Burst Data Tricks. All right. The clay man looks really nice. Stratos is not hollow, unfortunately. The play set of these, no, just two of them. Bubble man, a couple of those. We got the blade edge, the prisma, necro shade maybe, wild edge, wing karibo. We got the level 10, rottweiler, uh, absolute zero, of course. This guy's name is like great, is it great tornado or something like that? I think that's his name. Uh, Mudball man, we've got rampart blaster, tempest, thunder giant, Wild Wingman, Wild Edge, almost forgot. We got the Defusion. We've got Elemental, not Elemental Hero, E Emergency Call, Fusion Gate, H Heated Heart. Wait, why are they not in a row? Miracle Fusion. We've got, wait, he uses this card? Okay, what is this card called against from Pharaonic Guardians? That really broken where we draw like four cards or you draw with till you have four. Mirage of Nightmare. There we go. Monster Reborn. We've got the O Oversoul. These are not in a row. Monster, only two polys. Okay, he's playing a low poly. Uh, pot of greed we've got the r righteous justice the reinforcement of the army oh what is this i've been stumped i don't know what this is okay we got silent doom this might be like an old artwork the skyscraper flute of summoning karibo warrior returning alive transcendent wings hero li a hero lives um a hero emerges i think a uh, hero signal what is this oh what is this it's like a uh, mirror gate i think yeah mirror gate hero ring i think and then mirror force okay so i missed one i think i think i missed one out of all those um, pat me on the back come on that's pretty good okay i mean okay sure it's my job to know Yu Gi Oh cards i know but still i'm happy with it i'm happy with it all right let's open a few more of these packs because we have more work and stuff to go through that's a pretty sick deck though those Heroes are so nostalgic. Like, I just wish, like, the old school heroes were actually good. You know what I mean? Because, like, even hero decks nowadays, it has none of those, like, GX heroes. Oh, we got something coming up. <laughs> I am too good at this game. And by this game, I mean opening packs. This is insane. Ride of Aramisir. That is a very expensive card, like 60 bucks. And then an Exo Sister Mike. This is a very good box. I think we've made our money back on the cost of the box. Very nice very epic i'm liking this box a lot now let's just get a collector rare i say i'm too good at this but i opened two cases of this and got zero collector rare so what does that tell you not very good magical or warrior okay sick awesome um i may have done this in a little bit of a weird order we have oh is this a next is this a collector rare exo sister sophia okay i don't think this one's great but it is a little bit better i think since it is exo sister stuff very nice ultra rare so back to back ultra is not bad at all where we get a collector rare in this box i hope so here we go. This is our last thing from orcashop.com. You guys can check them out in the description below. All right, so we have some pretty sick stuff here. We have Dimension Wait, is this like a, what kind of foil is this? It has like the secret rare lettering, but it's ultra rare, okay. Delenko do it's all old school cards. This is sick. Yakugai or Panda, this is like a common at IOC, right? Isn't it? Or is it IOC? F Ooh, Fusion Destiny Full Art, that is beautiful. Ooh, and a Skill Drain Full Art, that's also beautiful. Oh my goodness, good start from that one. And don't forget, these are all in the giveaway, so make sure to enter that giveaway if you guys wanna win these. We have Virtual World, 
Castell, Exo Sister Stella. We could still get a collector rare. Just because we've pulled three ultras doesn't mean we can't get a collector rare. Let's do it. We have Goki Pole, Gaigu Punk, and we didn't get any punk. There's some good punk stuff in here that would have been nice, but with a right, you can't really complain. That's some pretty amazing stuff. Ties of the Brethren, we got Exo Sister. If we get like nothing in our third pack, that means we know we got a collector rare, which would be pretty amazing. Well, actually, I did have some four ultra rare packs out of this, so maybe not. Noah Punk Zia Min. All right, let's open a few more of these. We have the right of Aramisir. There it is. That's good luck right there. Oh my goodness. That looks extra nice. That green like dotted background looks insane. That looks amazing. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Beautiful. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. These are like a little bit warped, which is like kind of weird. They're like warped backwards. That seems to happen with like fake slash Orca cards. They warp backwards instead of forward. Uh, Soul Servant. Beautiful. The Dark Magicians. Also beautiful. Oh, Whoops. The Water Enchantress of the Temple. Pretty sick. We've had a lot of Water Enchantress in this one. The Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. So I was right. Those sleeves was DP. Okay, nice. The Iris Sword Soul. Pretty sick. Sword Soul Mo Yi. All right. That mask also reminds me of Naruto for some reason. I don't know why. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Now that, look at the rainbow in the background. Now that is beautiful. Light just turns into a rainbow. That is really awesome. That's my favorite so far. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. I just love when like... The foiling just looks really amazing and just like super beautiful like that. And Zector Dragonfly, very cool. All right, we've got several packs left before we get into the finale of these uh, these these packs here. Um, all right, Hidden Armory. All right, so nothing. Will there be a collector in this box? Let me know in the comments right now if you guys believe there is. Just send me some luck in the comments because if you say it right now, then maybe it'll manifest it. Maybe it'll, it'll manifest the past, which is what I've already pulled. Exo Sister, okay. Three packs to go. I believe we can do it. I believe we can pull something epic. We have Goki Pole, Exo Sister, Asafil. Okay, two packs to go. What will it be? What will it be? Something epic? I don't know. Awesome. Amazing. Exo Sister, Ellis. Okay, not great. Final pack. Let's see. Then we get on to the finale of the Orca cards. Here we go. Ah, oh, Jabreen. All right, so no collector rare but we did pull some amazing ultra so i'm not really too bad about that and our finale of orca cards we have the dark magician girl of course there's always a dark magician girl eldlich the golden lord beautiful don't forget to enter the giveaway so you guys can win all these cards toon wing dragon of raw pretty awesome i think this was one of the first things they did they sent me uh like a bunch of toon uh wing dragon of raw and obelisk and slifer is pretty cool Oh yeah, very, very cool. They got a little upgrade, a little bit of different artwork there. The Pot of Greed anime artwork, or the anime card, very cool. Toon Dark Magician, but he's the Arcana artwork. That's pretty amazing. He's the Red Dark Magician, that's cool. Eldritch the Toon Lord, okay. They need to make some of these tunes, that'd be pretty cool. Red Eyes Toon Dragon, Red Eyes Toon Dragoon, I should say. Yeah, he's a, dar a uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, but Toon, that's pretty amazing. That's a little bit confusing. I guess the Dragoon kind of gives it away, but oh, and then the final cards of Field Center of uh, orcashop.com. But that was a pretty cool opening. I really liked a lot of those cards. The artwork was top notch this time. I'm a big fan. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Fush Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, Ananda Tai Show, Thomas McLean, Seth Fisher, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.